Hey, what's up? The Smoking Android here. Um, I just wanted to make a video about, um, just in case a lot of you guys are, uh, or some of you guys are having some issues with your battery. I know that uh, flashing um, some of the new uh, ROMs related to 2.3.4 have some battery draining issues. Um, predominantly the, as I'm showing you, phone idle. Um, as you can see on here. Um, now keeping in mind phone idle is the time that your phone is off and things are happening in the background. So this doesn't always say that this is, you know, you know, 70% of your battery is being used. Well, it does and it doesn't. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but <clears throat> you'll see what I mean um, on some of these uh, hopefully um, easy basic fixes um, and, and changes you can do in your settings here. Um, to increase battery life. So, uh, one of the first steps you can do is definitely, um, you know, if you don't already have your uh, your power widget up or power control widget up, um, you can find it through settings, but uh, just to make things easy, I've got it on my home screen already. Um, so, first things first, uh, um, usually I like to disable GPS. Um, a lot of applications out there do use it. However, when you need it and the application requires it, it'll usually prompt you to turn it back on. Um, another big thing I've noticed is actually the sync. If you have sync turned on, it's going to be, or at least trying to be syncing things in the background, even if you don't have a connection. So say you have your network connection turned off and or your Wi-Fi connection turned off, um, and it has a schedule of when it's supposed to sync, um, it's going to be reaching out for a connection and there is none, which is actually eating up battery. Uh, especially when your phone's turned off. Now, <clears throat> in this particular ROM, and, and actually you can find on um, XDA forums, and I can't remember the name of the guy, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll be able to find it. Um, there is an app exclusive to XDA at the moment called Better Battery Stats. And in here, it gives you a description of some of the top um, processes being used um, to chew up your battery. Now, you've got some options here. You can uh, check out all the, the actions that are taking place for wake locks. You know, while your phone's off, certain applications um, want to access and do things at certain times um, while your phone's asleep. And this kind of wakes it up. It doesn't turn your screen on, but it wakes your phone up in order to perform these actions. And then once the action's performed and the uh, end result has been received to your phone, um, it'll turn itself off. But sometimes some of these rogue apps will keep uh, them running. Um, so anyways, that's a, a bit of a thing for you. But um, as you can see, alarm manager, um, I haven't quite figured out what is causing my alarm manager to um, constantly be running. Um, it always will be running because of applications, just system processes, but um, to the extent that my alarm manager is running, I don't know if that's excessive or not. I'm thinking it is, and I'm thinking it is for a lot of people that I've been uh, speaking with on XDA forums. Um, so anyways, uh, let's get back to the point here. Um, some things you can do to um, increase battery life is, um, like I said, making sure all those things are turned off when you don't need them. Um, Another one is uh, if you go down to Battery and Data Manager, go up to Data Delivery, you can uncheck Background Data. Now, unchecking Background Data, um, your market actually needs it in order to, you know, keep updates and do this, that, and the other. And every time you click on your market, um, it'll ask, it'll, it'll say that it needs Background Data to be running in order to operate the app, which is fine. So then you just go in here. It can be in the pain, in the, a pain in the ass, but I mean, if if battery is really important to you, it's something to do. I, for one, with the ROMs that I've been flashing lately, I've been having a lot of issues with batteries, and in order to last it throughout the workday, um, I do have to turn my background data off. Besides, I'm not really downloading a whole lot of apps uh, at work uh, as it is, anyways. So, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, if you go into your social applications, there um, you might have a list of a bunch in here. Um, you might even just go to data frequency, the delivery frequency of how often that particular social app tries to check for updates. Um, I think 60 minutes is fine because if you want, you can go into the app and click the refresh button like Facebook or what have you, and it'll update for you anyways. Um, that's one big one is, is the, the, the frequency. Um, let's see here. 
Battery mode is another one. Um, I don't know if many of you aren't aware of this, but um, I know there probably are a few. Um, I usually have mine on nighttime savers, so it lets it gives you normal operation during the day and battery saving at night, which basically means that when the screen's off, it's going to turn off your network and your Wi-Fi until you turn your screen back on again. Then it'll uh, it'll start back up and um, and uh, retrieve any information and data that it needs to. Um, maximum battery saver does that all day long so in fact I'm probably going to go ahead and switch that over now so that while I'm at work nothing's running in the background alright um, other things you can do such as display um, a lot of people have their brightness set to auto such as myself but you can actually turn that off and just drop it down um, this is only going to affect your battery while the phone's on personally it's probably you're probably gonna notice maybe like a 0.5 percentage per hour battery decrease if you have it on auto so it, it's not a big one for me um, animations do tend to use up a bit of uh, battery and um, and speed as well on your phone you can speed up your phone a little bit better with window transitions things like that by turning that off um, what else? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. You can also go into apps themselves, such as Facebook uh, and 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 I think Gmail. Maybe not. No, not Gmail. But Facebook and different social apps, and some of them actually have settings in there that that you can change yourself um, to, uh, for for push notifications and so on and so forth. Uh, you can turn all those off or just um, delay them for you know once an hour kind of a thing. Um, and you should be you should be okay there as well. So I mean these are oh as well as Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a big killer for people. Um, a lot, myself personally, I actually don't really use Bluetooth a whole lot. Um, I don't like the headsets. They're uncomfortable. They're annoying. In my opinion, the audio quality sucks unless you go and get like a nice two hundred and fifty dollar uh, headset. Um, but I'm not willing to fork out that kind of cash. So <laughs> uh, to each his own, I suppose. Um, but anyways, that's a big killer for you as well. Uh, what else here? Um, no, 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 no. Aha! If you have your phone rooted, like I do, and uh, y even if you don't have an overclocked kernel, you can download this application called Set CPU from the market. Um, it is a paid app. I can't remember. It's not that expensive, but it's a big help, and it's kind of a staple for all phone modders uh, who who are screwing with overclocked kernels or even just underclocking their kernels. Um, you can go on there, and I see, I put mine all the way down to 216, and you can actually set up a profile so that when your screen's on, or sorry, off, um, it'll drop right down to 216 uh, megahertz, and um, that saves battery as well as um, setting voltages. I haven't personally quite looked into how to how to undervolt my phone, but apparently that is a big uh, help as well for battery savings. Um, as far as the Motorola Atrixes go, there is a thread. Uh, it's a guide on XDA forums on how to perform a whole bunch of procedures in order to apparently uh, get back all of your battery. Not only does it fix the battery um, uh, bouncing around when you're turning on and off your phone, and you know you'll see like you know whatever 80%. Next thing you'll you'll see 60%. Um, but it also fixes the 1% battery mod and this that and the other. And it's supposed to um, re recalibrate the phone and the battery and you do all kinds of crazy voodoo stuff which I don't know if a lot of it even makes sense I've done a lot of research on battery on on how to um, increase the life of the battery and um, what calibrating actually does and how the the batteries these new lithium ion batteries actually don't need calibrating it's the device itself that needs to be calibrated with the battery um, but that's a whole nother story and if you're interested you can go ahead and PM me or email me at the smoking android at gmail.com but other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, I, I have auto brightness and everything like that. Um, so far, I am my one percent battery mod isn't working for this, and I had beautiful widgets running before that has a battery, uh, one percent battery thing in it. But um, um, I took it off because I'm, I'm trying to test my phone and see what the heck's causing this massive battery drain. And in fact, uh, since I took out um, um, some of my news apps and my social apps um, it's gone up considerably as, as especially with the um, turning off background data and that's actually what happens when you uh, turn off background data and you want to go into the market that's what it tells you uh, so anyways um, this is this is how much battery I've had for do 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 for that long four hours 
And as you can see, it's uh, I'm going to say it's about 90 to 80 percent, I'm going to guess. Um, phone idle at 63 percent, you know. So, it's not too bad so far, but um, we'll have to wait and see what happens, I suppose. Anyways, there you go, guys. I hope uh, this helps you a little bit in um, solving some of your battery drain issues. Um, there is some other options on there, but uh, that requires a bit of a Google search for you. All right, guys, there you go. I uh, hope it helps, and uh, please subscribe if this video helped you in any way. Um, cheers, guys. Till next time.